Okay, here's when I'm just calling the mini water bottle pulse motor. And um, it's just something I've, I've had some fun with today. And I just, I, I like doing these simple, simple little projects where you wouldn't take much time to do them. You could do them uh, at the office when your boss wasn't looking <laughs> if he had the materials. And uh, all that is is one of these little mini water bottles. And I took a couple of paper clips and bent them up and put a little hole in the lid and uh, both ends. And it's just taped together. But the magnets, uh, these these little uh, neodymium magnets, they're not glued on the bottle. You just uh, put the magnet in the bottle and then you take the other magnet and you get the pole that you want and you put it near the magnet that's in the bottle and it sticks to it. And uh, this is a monopole. They're all facing the outside to the same polarity. But you don't have to use any glue or anything. And um, it made a rotor assembly for a pulse motor. And then the driver is the same driver I've been showing. It's a... Uh, 30 gauge uh, wire wrapped up on a sewing machine bottle, a reed switch which you can get almost anywhere, um, and then uh, that's a 3 volt lithium battery, and then the uh, LED is placed across the coil in a backwards fashion to catch the back spike off the coil when the uh, reed switch opens up, and then you just put that near that, and the orientation isn't the greatest, but uh, it does work. And there goes your uh, mini water bottle pulse motor. You know, and it's not great. There's nothing uh, really fantastic about it, but it worked. And it was uh, super simple. And you could probably build one of these things up in about 15 minutes. Um, you could come up with a different driver if you wanted to. But this, like I say, was this driver I've been playing around with, which is made up on one of these prototype boards. And you could use a AA battery or whatever you wanted to do with it. But... Uh, I just thought that was pretty neat. Uh, it's a tongue depressor stick, a couple of paper clips. I've got these little uh, beads on the front to uh, act as bushings, basically. Uh, the, yeah, that's uh, that's my latest little creation, uh, and I'm just calling it the uh, mini water bottle pulse motor. I just got stuck to the thing there. And I'm uh, I'm lid motor, and this is the twelfth uh, of October two thousand sixteen. And like I say, this was just something that I uh, just had a little fun with today. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, but hey, if you want a pulse motor, there's your pulse motor. It'd be a good uh, little science project for. Uh, you know, f fourth, fifth grade, uh, you, you could get these parts for very little and have the kids build these things up to study this, uh, this idea of a pulse motor where there's no contact at all. It's using a reed switch to uh, trigger it with. And uh, you could study all kinds of things with that little setup right there in a science class. Thanks for watching.